combination of a 19 gauge needle and 0.018 inch guide wire with a Y connector during endoscopic ultrasound guided hepaticogastrotomy. Endoscopic ultrasound guided hepaticogastrotomy can be performed by either first injecting the contrast medium or inserting the guide wire. Each method has its advantages and disadvantages. When the contrast medium is injected first, the guide wire can be advanced along the correct pathway using the obtained image. However, the guide wire is inserted into the needle after imaging, which makes its insertion into the bile duct time-consuming. On the other hand, if the guide wire is inserted first, there are chances of the guide wire getting caught on the branch of the bile duct, making its advancement to the hepatic healer side difficult. There is also a risk of accidental insertion into blood vessels. It is desirable to inject the contrast medium with the guide wire loaded in a needle like ERCP cannula. It is necessary to pay attention to the size combination of the needle and the guide wire. If a 19 gauge needle loaded with a 0.025 inch guide wire is used, it would be difficult to aspirate bile juice and push out the contrast medium due to the guide wire narrowing the needle's inner circumference. However, combination of a 19 gauge needle and 0.018 inch guide wire allows easy aspiration and injection. We present the case of a 76 year old woman with distal bile duct obstruction and gastric outlet obstruction caused by gastric cancer. Two gastroduodenal stents were used for endoscopic treatment of GOO. However, the duodenoscope could not pass through the stents because of residual stenosis near the center of the stents. Therefore, we perform EUS HGS. We describe the intrahepatic bile duct at the site of gastric guardia using an echo endoscope. The targeted bile duct was 3 mm in diameter and is sufficiently dilated. We punctured the bile duct with a 19 gauge needle loaded with a 0.018 inch guide wire and filled with contrast medium to a Y connector beforehand. After puncture, bile juice reflux was visually confirmed by applying negative pressure using a syringe. We then inserted the guide wire into the bile duct, advanced it slightly to the hepatic healer side, and injected a contrast medium to obtain the bile duct image. Subsequently, we advanced it to the extra hepatic bile duct and the puncture needle was removed with an drilling guide wire. Finally, an 8 mm self-expandable metallic stent was placed directly without dilation. The procedure was completed in 19 minutes. No procedure-related adverse events were observed. The patient's symptoms and blood biochemical abnormalities were resolved and chemotherapy was initiated. Combination of a 19-gauge needle and 0.018-inch guide wire with a Y connector during EUS-HGS may potentially reduce the incidence of adverse events by simplifying the procedure and shortening procedure time.